bags are packed and we're ready to go. We're the NYC Travelers and we're on our way to Disney World for Run Disney. First stop, the expo to pick up the race in the bib, which we barely made because our flight was so delayed. We were both going to run, but the one I wanted was sold out, the 5k and the 10k. So it's just Al running the half marathon. The expo was at ESPN Wide World of Sports. This race was the wickedly delicious wine and dine run, which is tied in with Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Got the number, on our way to get the t-shirt. But we can't resist a couple of selfies. And one more stop to the official gear expo. You know, the great Disney stuff. After that, back to the hotel for a good night's rest. Race day. Al catches the bus at 3 o'clock in the morning, and the races are off. Soon, however, the sun rises, and with it, some character greetings and other perks come along the course. After a couple of hours, Al was crossing the finish line and had finished a half marathon. <laughs> After resting up, it was off to Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival and later on, the after party. The theme was wickedly delicious, complete with character greeting sightings. Amidst the celebration, we stopped and toasted the runners for their achievements. Welcome, Run Disney Runners, spectators, family, and friends to our wickedly delicious post-race party celebration. Whether you ran the 5, the 10, the half, or all three, it is time now to relax and enjoy the fermented fruits of your success. <laughs> <laughs> so, raise your drink. And hold your medal high as we toast to all the Use your imagination. Yeah, you left your medal in the room. Too much clinking. out in Epcot, rode some of the rides, and then, too soon, it was over. Next thing we knew, we were back at the airport and headed back to New York. We're the NYC Travelers, and we were at Run Disney in Disney World, Florida.